Hello, I'm Jordan Pin and welcome to Belt Colony, which is coming out on the 9th of September. As always, I'll have a link in the description down below if you want to go and check this one out, wishlist it, all that good stuff. It's also coming out into early access, as you can tell from the title there. Um, so what is Belt Colony? The year is 2040. You've signed a contract with a large mining corporation in the belt. Mine or build out your outpost, travel to nearby asteroids and collaborate with other belters. So yeah, we mine, we can then upgrade our suit with the credits that we get from the minerals and ores that we uh, manage to extract. We can eventually upgrade our base and get a ship as well. Uh, I played this for about half an hour. Uh, I was only going to play it for about 20 minutes. I ended up playing it for almost an hour, actually, something like that. I uh, had quite good fun with it, to be honest. Um, this game also reminds me of The Expanse, um, like the early years of The Expanse. If you've ever seen the TV show The Expanse, if you haven't, I highly recommend it. Um, it kind of reminds me of that where they're setting up the debelters, uh, you know, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. So, um, yeah, and it's space. I'm down with anything with space. So let's go there. I think there's a little bit of an intro, so we'll let that play out. Right, there we go. I just wanted him to talk. I just thought I'd uh, let him do that. So, um, yeah, we've got various controls. So the vertical thrusters are E and then Q to go back down again. We've got side of those ones, which is Z and um, C. There we go. And then X, if you hold X, it kind of brings you to a stop. And then uh, the usual was sad, um, forwards, backwards, left, right, as it were. So, yeah. Um, yeah, quite tricky to get to grips with to start with. But um, I'll say I played for a little bit of time. I actually got decently good at it. But I'm not going to say I'm brilliant at it. But, yeah. <laughs> there we go. So we should now be able to mine this. And there we go. We'll get some silica out of it. He tells you what it is as well. And then we'll break up this rock. And uh, we'll uh, we'll put that in our backpack. There's a little drop-off point uh, over there. There's our base as well. And eventually, I'd say, we can build that out as well. So, um, yeah. Um, we'll get some ore in our backpack as well. Uh, there's a bunch of these around. Eventually, we can just fly off and try and find more of these ores. And, uh, you know, make some more money that way. But um, the one I found the best was gold. Obviously, backpack full. There we go. Oh, we've got an achievement for that as well. Did just update a little while ago, so um, when I put my computer on, so um, I must have just added achievements or something. So yeah, we're going to go to the drop-off point. Then if you get into trouble, just hold X and that kind of, you know, writes you and that sort of thing. So as he said, we've got oxygen in the corner. We've got the integrity of our, our suit. Dropped off 10 ores and then we've got uh, fuel as well. If you go and drop the ores off, it restocks everything, which I thought was kind of strange. But there you go. It does that. We'll go in the base in a minute, but let's mine up some ores so we can actually sell some stuff. Uh, we've got a computer in there that we can sell and buy upgrades and things like that. So, yeah, let's come over here. Something a little bit interesting. I kind of enjoyed it. So uh, it also reminds me of another game, actually, uh, Rings of Saturn. But uh, in that, you have an actual spaceship. Aluminum ore. Ooh, aluminium. That's good. I always called it aluminum ore then. <laughs> it's aluminium pin. <laughs> uh, there we go. It is if you're British anyway. If you're an American, it's aluminum. So there we go. Potato, potato. It's all the same thing. Tomato, tomato as well. Right, there we go. Anyway, let's come over here and we'll grab some of that. Uh, so I found if you got into trouble, just hold X. Uh, there we go. Silica ore, that wasn't a very good uh, payer. Um, I did find gold, and that was worth a fortune, obviously. It's gold. And um, I think platinum as well. I found that, and that was worth a ton. Um, 
but yeah silica you know i don't think there's anything particularly brilliant around here i think the aluminium's worth a decent amount so that's good oh that's the rock that we broke isn't it there's still some uh, ores in it there we go uh i'm just gonna get a couple more sails in actually we've probably got enough for a first back crack uh, first suit upgrade i'll show you the inside there we go drop all that off uh, one thing I would like, and uh, it's just a constructive criticism, is the ability to be able to walk on the surface would be just kind of nice, just for those finer adjustments. Uh, we also have food, water, and power as well. I forgot to mention that, which we have to buy uh, through this computer nice here. It's a little bit tight, but uh, I can hang out here. Yeah, there we go. And we can do upgrades. I'll take you through that. So we press R. Here's the... Um, Here's the ore selling, so we'll just sell all of our ore. Um, you can sell it individually, and then it shows you the prices. Um, again, I you know I, I'm not, I don't want to be seen like I'm criticizing, just some crit just constructive criticism. But it'd be nice to have an actual ore market where you can see all the various ores, and then you can sell them. Whereas the only way to do it at the moment is to sell your silica off until you get to the aluminium that you've got, and uh, you can see it, my money going up there in the top uh, right corner. There we go, and then it gets the aluminium and it tells you the price. It would be kind of nice to be able to see that and then try to sell it when it kind of fluctuated and changed rather than just sell all or which is what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, you know, and then we can buy our water and our food and then we'll get a spacesuit upgrade as our first one, which then unlocks the next spacesuit upgrade, which we can't quite, can't quite get yet. That increases our speed and thrust and our storage capacity. And then if we get the landing pad here, we can then get the spaceship. Uh, carry all as well we can buy that but until we get the landing pad we can't do that so um, yeah and then we can put a second floor on i'll just go through some of these things upgrade the ship with more carrying we can get ore extractors down volatile extractors uh drone pads i think there was like uh greenhouses it's like a refine yeah metal refinery as well composite refinery so we should be able to refine these ores into you know more sellable items i guess so all sounds pretty cool once you do that a ship comes in obviously picks up the oars and probably brings you your money back uh, it's just the same one every time so i'll show it once and i'm just going to skip it because um yeah it's just the same thing every time so there we go just delivery complete so if you buy something it delivers it or you know sell something it delivers it as well so yeah um pretty cool so i think what we'll do is we'll mine out these first Free flight mode, there we go. We'll find out these ores here first. And then uh, we'll kind of travel a bit of a further distance. But just need to get that uh, sh that uh, suit upgrade first. There we go. Just sort of grabbing. Okay. Uh, let's go and see what's over there. Go and see what's over there, shall we? There's a, there did seem to be an altitude ceiling as well, so I couldn't just fly off the asteroid. I did try to do that, but it didn't let me, which is good because, yeah, I'd be doomed otherwise. All right, there we go. Oh, come on, there we are. Gonna get a little bit closer. Yeah, I'd say the ability to walk on, on the surface would be quite nice to do. Just for that last, you know, two meters away, I'm sure I could just walk a step or two to that. And, you know, it would be kind of nice to do that. But I haven't found a way of doing that. If there is a way of doing it, I might be missing it. So, uh, but I, I wouldn't mind that. I'm not saying walk across the whole surface, but just, a, you know, a few steps here and there would be quite nice just to, just to do those final few adjustments. Uh, oh, let's go over there. And just, there we go. Let's go this way. grab all of this ore in the immediate vicinity and then uh, we'll have to go searching after that but a little bit tricky so I, I, I managed to get hold of it after a while but it was quite tricky to start with just because uh, you know there's no gravity so you're uh, there's no resistance there there we go hydrocarbon I don't think that was great either um zoom out as well um yeah there we go let's come up to here we'll grab all of this 
Uh, we'll try and get to like the spaceship or something this episode if we can. And I can show you that. And that'll be kind of cool. I'll probably get all the backpack upgrades first though. Uh, we're almost out of uh, storage space, but never mind. Iron ore. Ooh, that was a good. Uh, that wasn't a bad payer, as I remember rightly. That's all gone. Right, I'm going to go back and just mine up that. Let's go there. You get some decent speed going as well. Or drop off. Gotta try and just gently get that in. If you crash down as well, you'll damage the integrity of your suit. So, um, you know, try not to do that. Uh, there's some ore over there. That's that one, isn't it? Yep, yeah, Z that way. There we go. And the ship controls much in the same way as this as well. So you've got to use these uh, little thrusters. There we go. If we land close, get a reasonable shot on it. Oh, down. Aluminium, yeah, there we go. Nice. That's a that's a decent payer again. I think the iron was about two hundred. So uh, uh, the gold was like two thousand I think it was or something. So pretty good. Um, obviously we're gonna want to find that. Uh, there does seem to be a light side and a dark side as well to this uh, kind of like the moon essentially isn't it? But obviously it's a uh, Asteroid, but yeah, big ball of rock at the end of the day, I guess. And uh, yeah, this is the asteroid belt, which is in between uh, Mars and Jupiter, if I remember it correctly. Ooh, copper, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, kind of sits in between the orbits of those two. So um, yeah, which is where the belters are in um, the expanse as well. Uh, I'll say, great TV show. If you've not seen that, you've got Amazon Prime. I highly recommend it. It is very good. I don't think it's like, yeah, I think I don't think it's on anything else. So, but uh, yeah, very good TV show. Silica again. That should get us a nice chunk of change. We should be able to buy. I bought a couple. I bought all the back up the suit upgrades first, and then I uh, bought the uh, ship afterwards. So um, that's probably what we'll do. We'll try and get to that this episode. This is probably just more of a preview let's try you know if you want me to play more of it let me know um there we go let's come down to here let's do like a harsh landing boom there we go drop all that off so we've got 11 units let's go inside a little bit awkward to get inside there we go Magnetizing. And let's sell up all of the ore as well. Let's go back to the top. Sell all that. So we've got five grand now. Uh, we will need to buy the uh, food and water as well at some point. Uh, suit upgrade. And then that one's five grand. Uh, so if we go out there and get a little bit more, it's just going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to skip by. But um, if you want to watch it every time, you can do. But uh, I realised that it was like, oh, it's the same thing. So fair enough. I will just skip by. Um, so I don't think there's any more ore close by. Not that I can see. So I think we'll just go for a little journey this way. I can't remember where I found the gold now. I wonder if the... I'm not sure if the ores are randomised. They might still be all in the same spot. Uh, it does get dark as well. So yeah, here we go. I don't think this is where I found it, but there's some more ores over here. Well, there wasn't when I played the other game anyway, so. And you should, hopefully, get some indication that there's some ore here somewhere. I'm hoping. Yes, no, maybe so. No? Yeah, there we go. I knew there was some somewhere. There we go. Yeah, there we are. That's all right. Uh, there is a little, I think there was one out here somewhere. To, uh, you can put one of those uh, ore miners down so you can actually mine the ore. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Get like a little sort of oil drilling rig, drilling rig type uh, deal. Oh, really? I'm not close to that at all. Iron ore. There we go. That's good. 
Um, some tools as well would be kind of cool to have. I think that'd be kind of like a shovel or a pickaxe or something. I don't know. I don't know what they used on the on the moon, but they used tools, didn't they, to uh, bring some of the rocks back and things. So uh, yeah, as uh, when you're doing these, you do get like a little laser thing, which is kind of cool to cut up the rock. So yeah, so that there, that little sort of oil platform thing, um, we can actually set a little uh, ore extractor up there as well. So we could do that. Hmm. I don't know what ore it extracts. I did set it up, but I never actually went back to it. So um, yeah. We maybe have to do that at some point as well. So let's just fill up our backpack. Yeah, it's going to fill. Backpack full. Okay. All right. And then we should. There we are. There's the habitats kind of that way. So, yeah, we should be able to find it. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably just cut away. I'll come back here. Well, we'll go and buy another, we should be able to buy another upgrade, I'd have thought, um, for the uh, spacesuit, and then we'll try and get enough money together for the uh, landing pad, and we'll try and get the uh, spaceship down as well. I'd like to try and do that this episode and then show that off, um, and maybe try and get a miner down as well. We'll see how much time we've got, but um, yeah, we'll try and do that if we can. So just quickly come back, and then I'll fly back over there, grab a load more ore. If I find something brilliant, I'll keep it going and, you know... Uh, if I sign some gold or something like that, which would be kind of nice, because I'd say that paid really well. Uh, once we get the other backpack upgrade as well, we can go a lot further. So that's definitely the way to go. Right, I'm coming in for a landing. Yeah, integrity. Actually, to be honest, you're probably better off just slamming it to the ground, aren't you? There we go, because all that stuff gets refilled, so, yeah. There we go, and then I'm in. Water and food is okay at the moment. So, let's just sell all of those ores. We've got seven grand. We've got enough to buy the next suit upgrade, so that's good. So, we've now totally upgraded the suit. Um, I think an ore extractor. Oh, can I? Oh. I can't buy that because I don't have enough money, I guess. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, I'll say, I'm just going to skip that. Um, so, yeah, let me go back there. I'm going to mine up and get 10 grand's worth of stuff. And then we'll buy, build the landing pad. And then um, we'll try and get the spaceship down as well. So, yeah, let me see if I can get 10 grand together. Or even 20 grand, we'll see. Um, if there's anything interesting, I'll bring you guys back in. But um, otherwise... We'll just stay, oh boy. I'd say there does seem to be an altitude ceiling as well, so you can't just ping off the ast asteroid. I guess it'd be kind of cool to happen, but um, yeah. Health and safety. <laughs> so yeah, let me get back here and we'll mine up some more of these materials. I might need to take a couple of trips, but we have got a bigger backpack now, so that's going to be a good thing for us. Oh, there we go. I'm overshooting it massively. There we go. Oh, bingo, there we go. We just found gold ore in one of these uh, boulders. I'm only 500 meters away, 600 meters away from the uh, habitat. So, damn, that should be a good find. Depends how much gold we get. And if you can just see in the horizon there, there's one of the asteroids, the other asteroids. I think we can actually fly to that one as well, um, I believe, but I could be wrong on that. I haven't actually done it yet. So that's not a huge amount of gold, but I thought I'd just bring you guys back in for that. And... Uh, yeah, we're just still searching. I've done a couple of trips backwards and forwards already. Um, I've found if you're flying over the surface and you see like boulders and things like that, there's probably a good chance, like over here, for instance, there's probably going to be ores over there. Uh, you have to get relatively close before they uh, pop up. Like, there we go. I think it's about 100 meters, something like that distance. Um, but yeah, we've, uh, we've found some decent ores anyway over here. That's good. I'm going to keep an eye on my oxygen and everything. And then we should have enough to buy the landing platform, if nothing else. So let's just fill up the backpack first before we uh, go back, though. I don't want to go back empty-handed, as it were. Or somewhat empty-handed. There we go. Uh, aluminium. Okay, fair dues. 
Uh, we'll just try and fill up. But yeah, I'd say if you find these boulder fields, that's usually where the ore is going to be. Somewhere like that. That's what I've found so far anyway. Um, oh boy. Okay. Damn. Oh yeah, there we are. There's a decent chunk. I suspect we might be able to get a extractor here as well. So I'll have to come back this way. Don't know if there's any way to put any markers down, but that would be kind of hydrocarbon here. Yeah. That'd be kind of helpful, just to be able to put a flag down or something, so we could uh, find our way back. I think that's going to be another place to extract ore from. That would be my guess. Looks the same as the other one. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting some of those ore extractors as well, because I didn't really do much with them. Come on. Yeah, the ability to be able to walk would be really nice. Um, okay. There we go, iron ore. Um, and then, yeah, we'll head back to the habitat. I'm going to grab up what I can here. So I have to try and remember, where's the habitat? So that is sort of northwest. So if we kind of head southwest in a kind of... Hmm. Okay, I'm not too sure about that. Let's head back anyway. But yeah, this is a place to go. It's got a decent chunk of stuff here. So let's get a decent way, and then I'm going to just try and make a coordinate mental note if I can. We'll fly back. Uh, oxygen's fine. Right, so let's keep going that way. So if we fly southeast, sort of bearing 135, something like that, that should get us back to it. There we go, that's good. And then I kind of know where to go. Um, so yeah, we'll come back, we'll sell off what we've got. The gold is worth a pretty penny. So I think I got about 1900 for it each time, so um, that's pretty good. So that should easily buy us the landing pad. Um, I've already dropped, deposited some iron and silica and some other things in there as well. So I suspect we... Ooh, something over there as well. Interesting. Okay. Right. Let's come in for a landing. And we'll drop this off. There we go, 15 units. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go in and sell. We should have a good, good chunk of food. Uh, chunk of food. Uh, just looking at the food bars. A good chunk of money now. So let's come in here. Let's just sell it all. There we go, 15 grand. Perfect. So we could buy this landing pad, which I think is the way to go. Um, I can't buy the ore extractor. Oh, maybe I, I did buy the landing pad first. There are also drones as well. So um, we can operate drones. Uh, more power. I'm assuming we're going to need that at some point. Storage tanks. Greenhouses for food, I'm going to guess. Metal refineries. Uh, move buildings. Ooh, interesting. Okay, I didn't notice that. Uh, but anyway, let's buy... Where are we? Let's buy the landing pad. There we go. And then I... I think this one is basically the same again. Yeah, basically the same again. There we go. But we should now have a nice handy dandy landing pad. Yeah, there we go. And then once we buy the space station, it'll be there. So if I head back... Uh oh Hang on. Um... This is, the way, this is the way I went, isn't it? Yeah, I think I've got... I don't know, my bearings are totally off. Um, but yeah, let's try and find some more money. Um, we've, what, we got 5,500. We need another 4,500 and we can buy the ship. Yeah, northeast, I don't know what I'm talking about. There we go. Just uh, head this way. So if I come back to here and I'll mine up all this and then we'll try and buy the ship next. Um, and then an ore extractor would be nice. I wouldn't mind trying, to, trying that out as well. Just... Uh, See what the deal is with that. Okay, right, I've just dropped another load off. I should be fairly close to it now. I've done one sale and I've got uh, 10 grand. I need 50. I thought it was 10 grand for the ship, but it's 15 grand. So um, let's sell all of that. 13. Oh man, so close. So close, but not quite. All right, we're going to need to find another area because I pretty well much tapped that one out. Um, yeah, alright, let's go this way. Let's 
go this way, I guess. I'll bring you guys along for this one, shall we? We're close. We don't need a huge amount. Almost there. I know where the rushing for the spaceship is good, but I think it is because it's just got a much bigger capacity of, you know, cargo carrying, oxygen, fuel, etc. So, um, yeah, it seems like the way to go to me. But, um, yeah. Uh, all we can really do is continue. There is a dark side as well. Dark side of the moon. Aha, boulder field. That looks pretty good. This looks promising. This could be something over here. Anything? Yes, no, maybe so. Nothing? Wow. Nothing at all. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, there's got to be something here. Yeah, there we are. You find a boulder field, you're usually pretty good. There's going to be something there. That's, uh, that's what I've found so far, anyway. Uh, there's T as well. If you press T, you can put your flashlight on or your torch. So... There you go. And... No, still can't quite go that. Yeah, I'd say the ability to be able to walk and just get that... Oh, platinum. There we go. That, that should be the stuff right there. That's good. Uh, that's uh, really nice. But yeah, I'd say just ability to be able to walk just for those finer... Just landed a few meters away. Just be able to walk up to it would be quite nice, I think. It's a nice little, you know makes sense to me we can there's obviously gravity here so um, you know he would be able to walk up to it oh platinum ore again dang dang this is a good place uh, I can't remember how much that's worth but um, it's gonna be pretty decent oh if that's a boulder or a platinum we're in business we are in business people if that's the case Oh, right, okay, yeah. Silicate. Ah, just silicate. Yeah, okay, that's kind of rubbish. But, yeah, that platinum's good. That platinum is really good. Um, that should see us now over the 15,000. We just need another 1,500. So, um, that should easily sort us out. That's great. There's a nice boulder field over here as well. So, I have to kind of remember that. There's probably more stuff over here. But, uh, yeah, we'll get the ship, and then that's going to make traveling a lot easier as well. And, uh, yeah, we'll get that. We'll fly it around a bit and probably call it an episode, see if we can find somewhere to mine with it. We still have to get out and mine. Like, uh, you know, can't mine on the ship or anything, but you still have to get out. But, um, yeah, just a lot easier. Ooh, we've got a bit of space, haven't we? Got a bit of space in the backpack. Found just slamming yourself into the ground and then pointing in the direction you want to go. Oh, there we go, yeah. Doesn't show up till about 75 meters away from it, so just be aware of that. Yeah, we've still got some backpack space. Ooh, that's good. We've hit a jackpot over here. How are we doing for oxygen? Oh, we've got plenty of oxygen, haven't we? We got plenty. Kind of curious to know how much this stuff sells for. In fact, he's going, oh, it's hydrocarbon, yeah. That's not great. Um, it's not terrible, but we may as well take a full backpack with us. No reason not to. There we go. Let's get back. Sell all that off, and we'll get our sweet spaceship together. And then, uh, yeah. I doubt, I, mean, yeah, I don't know how much that stuff sells for, to be perfectly honest. Um, you never know, might be able to buy a uh, uh, ore, ore extractor as well, that'd be kind of cool. But we'll probably leave that for the next one or something. Get this one done. I just wanted to show the uh, spaceship. And then, yeah, I'd say I believe you can fly. Oh, I can't see any asteroids around at the moment, but you can fly to different asteroids as well. So, Right, come on, down we go. Let's just get ourselves down. Boom. Found that, just plonk yourself down and then you can kind of point yourself in the right direction. <laughs> Found that was a pretty good way of going. You can adjust yourself with the boosters, of course. There we go, 18. Magnetizing. Magnetizing as well. Magnetic boots are on. Let's get in here. 
Yeah, so the silica ore doesn't sell much. I, I'd really like some kind of screen that shows you the different prices of the ores and you could hang on to them and maybe sell them, uh, you know, with a price market that's fluctuating or something. And, ooh, there's a really good sale on hydrocarbons or maybe there's like a, you know, oh, damn, that's a good one. Damn, that's good. The chira, whoa. Holy, whoa. Silica ore. Okay, let's just sell the rest of it. I think we sold it all. 29 grand. Holy moly. I was not expecting that. Right, so let's buy the ship. There we go. Uh, we can upgrade the storage and stuff off it, but I think I'm just going to leave it. I want to get one of these ore extractors. There we go. And then we'll buy a little bit of food and water. So if you just buy it, it just goes up. Like There you go. I won't buy too much, but we'll buy some of it. I don't think, I think the delivery screen is exactly, yeah, is exactly the same by the looks of it. So, we should, think the, I think the ore thing is aboard the ship. There we go. There's our ship. It's kind of futuristic, doesn't it, really? There we go. Well, it is 2040. There we are. If we press R. Sweet ride. Let's take this baby for a spin. There we go. So there was some there was a thing over here. Let's go and put the ore extractor down. So yeah, there we go. I don't know I don't think there's any It's a light, but it's like V is but I'm sure it's V is supposed to change the camera, but it doesn't seem to, so um yeah. I don't think I don't think it's really any faster than going on the jetpack, but or the backpack, but obviously uh, the uh, you know the fuel and everything is the range is just going to be so much better, carrying capacity and all that sort of thing. So yeah, and then yeah, I believe we can fly to the other asteroids. So um, that's something we we'll maybe have to try next time or something. But yeah, is this faster or is this slower? It kind of feels slower, doesn't it? Or is it just me? Okay. Uh, I don't think any of these panels really do anything. So. It's a little bit of a shame, but there you go. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I did put one down. I'm pretty sure I need to land near the node that we can mine from, and then yeah, we can uh, we can extract the ore. Yeah, I think this is slower. Feels slower to me. Definitely feels slower. But hey, you know, it means we can go out for long journeys and just mine and that sort of thing. So that's good. Um, down in this valley should be where we found that uh, should be straight in front of me there it is just off to the side right let's try and land near it oh I think I just grazed the bottom <laughs> don't think we need to land right next to it but uh, you know there we go and I think if I fly to it with my pack should then get a little bit closer. There we are. And then he should put that, yeah, I don't know, a, a hammer or something, I think. Some tools of some sorts would be kind of nice. A drill. I don't know. You know, a bit of zzzz or something like that, you know? Just uh, just some tools of some sorts and something that's cool. But the ship looks really cool. I do think that looks a really cool ship. Kind of put some blasters on it or something. It looks really cool. Has it got guns on it? Yeah, there we go. And then... Oh, hang on. I think there's a... Is there somewhere? Ah, I think that's the pad there. If I go up to it, I can gather. Well, there's a control, but obviously... Uh, transfer to suit, transfer to ship, and then there's also drones that I could get, assign them to retrieve the um, retrieve retrieve the ore from these things. Uh, so store uh, silicate. Is it only going to mine silicate? I guess it might do. I don't know. On that one, uh, where's the ship over there? There we go. But uh, yeah, I think this is a good place to call it, and I think we'll end the episode here. Um, uh, if you want me to play any more, let me know in the comments with a thumbs up and all that usual stuff. It really does help out the channel. 
But um, yeah, so this is coming out on 9th of September, I think it's a Friday. Link in the description down below if you want to go and check that one out for yourself. Um, so yeah, I'll say for now, I think this is where I'm going to call it and end the episode. So if you like that one, please give me a thumbs up, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe for more. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everyone. And I'll catch you next time. And you can just save anywhere as well, by the way. Just thought I'd throw that in. <laughs> catch you next time, everyone.